Rose water. All of you guys have been asking me to try rose water on my skin. And I've been trying to do it for years, but I didn't do it. But you know what? I'm gonna do it right now. I finally got rose water. Now, if you don't already know, rose water is apparently a necessity to boost your skin's health. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I read on the internet and that's what I've heard from the internet. So you already know what I do on this channel. I'm gonna apply rose water onto my skin for seven days straight and see what the benefits are. Now, if you're wondering what the benefits are, I don't know. So let's read it together. Hey Siri, what are the benefits of rose water? Here's what I found. So it soothes skin irritation, reduces the appearance of redness, fights infections, contains anti-aging properties, hydrates skin. Okay, these are some pretty good benefits. These are definitely some things that I would love for my skin to change into. But does rose water actually work? I don't know. So let's give it a shot. Also, I haven't done a beauty challenge in so long, so I'm really excited to do this. Okay, you guys, so I just got out of the shower. This is what my face looks like. This is the before. Look at how dry my skin is. Oh my goodness. If you know anything about me, you have been watching my YouTube videos for a while, you already know I have the driest skin when it's winter and it's currently winter. So that's why my skin is hella dry. So let's go ahead with day one. Let's spray this little thingy. You can use literally any rose water. This is what I'm using right now. I got this off of an Indian shop because I trust in Indian products, all right? So let's go ahead. Oh wow, it smells so good. It actually smells like roses. <clears throat> Don't try to taste it, guys, please. For now, it's fine. As you can see, my skin isn't as dry as it used to be. I mean, for the time being, because my skin is wet right now. Okay, you guys, it is day two. Do I feel a difference or do I see a difference? Absolutely not. There is no difference. If anything, I feel like my face has gotten a little drier. Like when I woke up, my face was a little dry. But maybe it was because the window was open and I slept with the window open. Not because of rose water, but let's see. Okay, I need to find the rose water. What the hell? Oh, found it. Let's go ahead with day two. I like to drip myself in rose water so it goes to like every place because it's not the same as applying it with a cotton pad. It's kind of different. Okay, yeah, it's safe to open my eyes. Okay, you guys, so it is day three. Take a look at my skin. I still have a few dry patches. Oh my God. And there's a lot around my lip area. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness, it is so bad. But anyways, let's go ahead with day three. I like how this thing smells, but for some reason, I feel like it's just water with fragrance and that's about it. That is my opinion on day three, okay? I have no idea how it's gonna be moving on forward. I have no idea how it's gonna be by the end of this challenge, but for now, I'm not a huge fan of rose water because I just don't feel like it is moisturizing my skin enough. I like moisture. I like when my skin feels like it is hydrated and it is doing a good job even though I haven't drank water the whole day. But using this one, it has made my skin so dry. I mean, my skin always looks dry anyways because it's winter. But usually when I apply moisturizer, it gets better. But with this one, it just doesn't because after five minutes, my face is semi-dry. It's not dry dry, but it's semi-dry. So like, I don't know. Okay, you guys, it is a brand new day. What's the update? What's going on? Let me fill you in. So I am breaking out right around my forehead. It's not visible to the camera, but like in front of the mirror, I can see it. It's not a pimple, but like there's like a tiny bump, like three places around my face. So I'm not sure if it's happening because of the rose water or because I might get my period soon. My period is not for another week, but still. So I don't really know. I'm just gonna keep doing this. What the hell is this doing here? So I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm gonna keep going on because a girl's gotta do what she gotta do for this challenge. Whew. 
Okay guys, it is a brand new day. Let's spray the rose water onto my face. Why do I keep losing it? If I'm gonna be honest, like really, really honest, compared to rose water, I like rice water way more. If you have watched my rice water videos, I saw results in just a few days, which is amazing. But with rose water, I feel like it dries my skin out. I'm not a huge fan and I'm breaking out like, not pimples, but like little bumps on my head. And I don't like that. But anyways, let's go ahead. Okay, I still love the smell though. I might wear it as perfume if I don't like this challenge. Okay, you guys, so what is the update? I feel like my skin is still pretty dry. Like, I don't personally think that this rose water is helping my skin with hydration and all of those things because it ain't working. And I feel like I have started to break out. I'm not sure if you could see this, but yeah. So I'm kind of breaking out, which is horrible, but we're gonna keep going. We've got that done. Let's see how this turns out, honestly. I have n no expectations for this. Okay, you guys, so today is day seven. And literally for the seven days, I have only used this much. Like, I don't know if you can see it, this much. And that's about it. I know someone's gonna be like, why do you spray so much onto your face? Well, let me tell you why. I like when my face is really moisturized right before I go to bed. I like when my face is soft and just very smooth, glowy. I just like that, okay? And if I just spray a little bit, it does not feel like that. So I spray a lot so that I can feel like, you know, it's going on to my skin like really deep. Because if I spray a little bit, I feel like it's not enough. I do the same thing with perfumes because I just love perfumes and I love smelling like mm, all the time. So I spray a lot. I mean, if you're born and raised in Dubai, you already know that it's a normal thing to literally spray perfume on yourself to the point that you can't breathe. So yeah, a perfume only lasts like a month or three weeks in my house because I love perfume and I just spray a lot. Okay. So we are done with the seven days of me using rose water. A challenge that y'all have been begging me to do and I finally did it. Here's what I think about it. Number one, this thing will probably last you for like two to three months. Like with the amount that I'm spraying on my face every single day, I feel like this will definitely last for about two to three months. It is a long lasting product. Love that. Number two, all of these days my skin was still very dry even though despite of using this, but today morning, my skin was so freaking soft like when i touch my skin it's like a baby's butt even though it doesn't look as smooth on camera when i touch it it feels great maybe i just need to start using this product for more longer and then check the results because right now i mean especially the first six days i felt like my skin was still dry Obviously, I understand that it takes time for a product to work. These things don't work overnight, so I completely understand that. So today morning, the eighth day, my skin was like super freaking smooth and it's still smooth. I hate that I'm touching my face with my hands, but like, I'm just trying to prove a point. It's really smooth. Number three is that I feel like I started breaking out. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's just a lot of things that I do not like all over my face. Most of them are camadons, which I don't like, which are not supposed to happen. I usually don't get them very often, but after using this, I feel like it happened. Like there are a lot of camadons all over my face and like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's purging, but I don't think purging could happen for rose water. So there you go, a con and a pro. So the pro is that my skin is smooth, but the con is that I'm breaking out and the scars are on my face, so my face does not look clear at all. So I don't really know. I have mixed feelings about this product over here. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. This is not something I'll keep doing. Maybe I'll add it into my skincare routine and try to, you know, mix it up with all of my other products. Maybe it'll work better like that. But this alone is, is just not for me. I would rate this like a three out of 10. I'm not a fan of this. So yeah, that is what I think about this rose water challenge. 
Uh, would I recommend it to you guys? Uh, no, but then again, I don't want my personal experience to come in in between your experience. So if you have tried this, let me know in the comment section down below how it went for you so that I could go ahead or just throw it away. I don't know. Let me know. And yeah, if you have been watching this video till the end, comment this emoji in the comment section and this emoji on my recent Instagram photo. So anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.